Hi everyone. So today we are going to discuss routing, routing algorithm and routing table. Routing in simplest term is a process to select a path from source to destination node. For understanding, let's see is a is a is a, 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 a network on the left hand side and a network on the right hand side and in between these are the routers which are going to connect multiple links with each other so the routing is a process by which these routers or these nodes find the suitable path or the best path among multiple available paths so in this case you can see this node is connected with this node by this path by this path and also by this path the the job of the routing is to find out the path and and select any one of them on the basis of some criteria and router is the device which actually performs this routing job and this is the real picture of a router and in academics we use these symbols to represent this router routing algorithm so we saw that in this network we we use routing but router and, and the router is going to perform the job of routing and router itself they follow some set of rules called algorithm to find out the best path it means routing is a process to find out the path and router are the devices which are going to perform that specific job and what rules do they follow when when finding out a specific path those rules are called the routing algorithm so routing algorithm are a set of rules they are followed by routers to find out the best path among multi among many available path from source to destination node so for example in this case this network wants to send to this network functions here then what happens each and every router in between the source and destination they exchange information with each other so each router exchange information with its neighbor so they exchange information about their position they announce that we are connected for example this r10 will announce that i am connected with this subnet directly and this router will send this information to r9 and this r9 will convey this information to this router and likewise this router will convey this information to this so in this in the same way for example this r1 is connected with this subnet so this is the responsibility of r1 to send this information to r2 and to send the same information to r5 and this is the job of r5 that whatever it has received from its neighbor router it has to broadcast this information to the remaining routers which are immediately connected to it or which are their neighbor so for example what happens this router is going to announce that this router is connected with this subnet and then this router is going to announce that this router is connected with this subnet so this is the announcement and then these router send further this information to this router and this sends to this and in this way slowly these all router exchange information about the networks to which they are connected so each and every router has got a responsibility to announce about the network which they are connected to so for example in this case let's see let's say that this source node or this subnet wants to communicate with this subnet which is bit away from here then how, how to make it possible actually before sending something before sending something from this node to this node the routers has to get information from each other that which router is connected with this subnet what they do at the start this router is directly connected with this with this subnet this router will announce this information to the routers which are its neighbor so you see from this router's information goes to this router to this router and this router now these routers in turn 
will broadcast the same information to other routers like this and ultimately this information will be received by this router so this router will have some information that this node or this subnet is available if I follow this path or the, this path or this path so now this router will make an information available in its database that is called the routing table so in this routing table this router will hold the information that if I want to go to this subnet then I have three available paths one from this interface that interface name is fast ethernet 00 and one path is available from this interface fa02 fast Inter ethernet 02 and one of the interfaces is this so it has got three paths to go to the same node and by by combining this all information the router has built a routing table or a database so what is routing table routing table is a database that is maintained by the routers about the possible paths towards the destination so in this case this r1 is going to maintain a route a, a, a table in that table it has the destination destination subnet in our case is 192.168.10.1 so if i want to go in this this router information is that if i want to go to this destination then i have one of the possibility is through FA00 one of the possibilities go through this path second possibility is to go through this path and the third possibility is to go through this path and what is the cost so every link has a cost associated with this so what is the cost to go to a specific path so this is the cost is defined in terms of number of hops so how many number of hops or how many number of jumps this destination is away from this node so for example if r1 selects this path then it will have one two three four and five jumps away or five hops away from the source and if it's going to follow this path then this will have four hops away and in this case this will have three hops away so by exchanging information with each other's routers have conveyed about this thing and each and every router will have a routing table like this in their database and with the help of that routing table routers will make decision about the routing so router will select and find out the best path to go from the source to the destination with the help of routing and to do that they follow some routing algorithm and then after getting out these all information they save it in the routing tables thank you